Tonight, I'm fishing for cod and nothing else. I'd imagine there'll be a couple of little whiteies knocking about. But if I can keep away from them, I will. I'm fishing with a simple rig, which I'll show you in a second. Six ounce gripper, genie splashdown, 40 pound mono, three-way swivel, 70 pound hook length, 6-0 cox and roll. And I'm fishing with some pre-made baits, which is, let me show you, blacks, squid, cart, some of them have got razor in, some of them haven't. Um, I just used what I had. So, let me get this baited on, look. Little nick through the bottom, back out, get the hook nice and proud, like so, elasticate it on, it's still slightly frozen but it'll thaw out, What I do is I go loads of times that way, I stop with my thumb and then go back on myself so it doesn't all unravel and then stop with my finger and then back around the other way again. See if it's doing bows and knots and all that jazz. Cart's already starting to come out lovely there. That clips into the uh, Genie Splashdown like so push it down and then pull the hook through, give it a bit of a wiggle, there you go, bait hangs, when that hits the water, pops it up and the hook pops out, jobs are good, I'm fishing with me cousin tonight, so hopefully, between us, we can catch a few fish, so welcome back, the spot of fishing. We're at Linemouth Beach. Come on. There is cod knocking about. The winds just turned northeasterly at around about 11 this morning, midday. Seas flumped back up after their massive easterlies. How hard that pretty much wrecked everything in its way. The rod I'm using is a Any Fish Anywhere 6 and bait, 13 foot, and the reel is a Pen Surf Blaster 8000 with a 70 pound braid straight through. And I'm not trying to chuck it far, there's absolutely no need to belt it out here. I'm not a very big caster anyway, so that's great. That will literally do for me. Simon's duck hooked one left. I'm straight out. Hopefully we can bring you a codling. Or a big cod. I'm quite hopeful tonight actually. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I haven't, well I have been out but I haven't been recording sometimes. and. Uh, I think the last time I was out, I was at Beadnell when my GoPro knacked up, but I did get one little shot um, of a fish I caught. So here's a little clip from a couple of weeks ago now, I think. Here we go. Got a fish! I think it's a ras, by the way, it's scrapping. I was right, what a belt and ras that is. <laughs> Get in, what a cracking ras.
hill go. What a beautiful, beautiful rat. Be about three pound. Chuffed to that. So yeah, that was uh, that was Beadnell. Um, I have been back there since I blanked. I have been to Blythe Beach and blanked. I have been to Colliwell and blanked. Uh, I've been. I think that's about it actually. Um, didn't I got to, oh I got to Blythe Pier just after that massive storm. Everybody on the pier pretty much blanked. I was speaking to the lads the next morning, which was couldn't believe it. But sometimes that's the way it goes. That's fishing. Um, Hopefully I can get you a bit of footage tonight of uh, of some fish, fingers crossed. I'll keep trying. Um, I, do, I have got a, a giveaway going on at the minute. Some lures and stuff like that, which I'll, uh, well, I'll show you a picture of. All you've got to do to uh, in with a chance of winning some, some goodies is comment underneath any sort of comment with the word winning just put win and then whatever you want to write um, and i'll uh, select randomly and i'll post you out some bit of sparta merch and maybe some lures and stuff like that and every video from now on i'm going to pick one person who comments and i'm going to post them something out just a little something might just be a lure one day it might be a reel we'll see how we'll get on so i Thanks for joining us again at the wonderful Linemouth Beach, deep, dirty water beach. Bring it on. Um, well, I've swapped reels. <laughs> I went to the multiplier, which is the uh, Daiwa slosh with uh, 60 pound braid straight through. Uh, 65 pound braid straight through, I think. Um, I can get a bit more distance with that and get lower. I can't cast with the fixed spool low down, but I can cast with a multiplier low down. So naturally, I can give it a bit more hump. Um, I just need a little bit more to get over the back of the breaker, um, which isn't very far as you can probably see. But um, like I say, I'm not a very big caster at all. So I've swapped to the uh, the Daiwa. Let's see how that goes, and it's got a great lift on it as well. It just makes any fish feel like three times bigger. So if I get excited and I bring a poddler up, you know why. I think it's about was it five to one or something? Maybe it's even six to one ratio. Between five and six, anyway, I'm guessing. There's no rain forecast, which is a bonus. But that wind is coming from the north. Maybe it's northeasterly. Yeah, north. North east easterly, I guess. It's only a breeze about 10 to 13 knots or something. So hi. Pleasant night, pleasant night. A little bit chilly, but I haven't got my hat on anything yet, so I've got uh, plenty plenty scope to get warm. Might have to change to a seven ounce lead from a six. There is a bit of movement out there and a lot of current. But that's something we can deal with. Oh. Oh. A random wave there. That made us move quickly, keep the camera from falling. I've never moved that quick since I was like number nine, scoring 50 a season, sometimes 70. 77's the top. I don't like to I don't like to talk about that though, you know. I don't like to mention it. Ah, you would think so. It's certainly the right conditions. We're just saying there's got to be some fish here, surely. It's uh, five o'clock, so light's fading. Uh, got a little bit till bottom water. We're going to fish it over bottom, then maybe back up for a couple hours. And if it's really fishy, then we might stop even longer. There's no fixed plan. 
Nobody's got a curfew. You get this custard out. Into the unknown. Right, you bugger. Fetch me a fish. Please. Huh? Please, no. Is it? Just a signal. <laughs> the cousin's just twanged one off and the sink I went like probably to Norway. Maybe not quite Norway, but. Strange. Strange one, eh? I think that's just sheared straight through his knot. Not, not, not do that again. Come on, fish. I think when darkness comes, we've got a better chance. Oh, obviously, you know. You know the dance at home. And darkness falls and all that. I always believe that. You, obviously, you can catch cod daytime, but I'm a big fan of uh, if you're on the beach, darkness really. I think rock marks, I think the, the darkness start with, you know, there's, there's nooks and crannies and gullies and such like. Whereas on the beach, you know, there's nothing stopping the light. Um, and the fish are probably a bit more apprehensive about coming into shallower waters. That's not to say you can't catch them in shallow waters, of course. But just a general rule of thumb, that's the way I look at it. I don't think that's news to anyone, by the way. There's another bait ready for the, uh, ready for the launch. Just hope I'm not throwing good bait away here. Come on, darkness, where are you? Probably bolted too early, to be honest. Maybe should have come out a bit later, but... Yeah. When you're that desperate to get out, man. I've got all my jobs done the day. And I just wanted to be out. Had a peck sarnie with some onion, a bit of black pepper, a bit of salt. Light tea. A good scran when I get in. I've got five sausage rolls to keep us going in between, like. Read the near bogus, where are you? Come on. Huh? No, not yet. I like to save my hat for when it gets really cold. I'm all right the minute. Ah, I might have a coffee off you. Oh, I forgot he's got a flask of coffee, so I might indulge in one of them. He's a one sugar man, I'm a two, I'm a NATO. Two with milk. NATO standard. I suppose I'll have to endure it. If it's hot, it's gone in. Right, let's get this one on. And hopefully that's the fish turning on. Let's clip down. Let's see what I'm doing. Always important to check your, your last eye that you're not tangled round. There's no worse than twanging one off. Bombs away. Right, 
great. Bring on the fish. We're at the stage of perseverance now. Probably been here about uh, what time is it? Coming up to four hours. Um, four hours, and that was the first bite. Start to think, mm, should I move? Should I have moved an hour ago? But then you get that bite and you think, right, get in. Which we knew might happen on sort of low water. And then when it starts turning, pushing fish into this gully, that's what we're hoping for anyway. But only time will tell. I think he has a fish, maybe. Oh, I thought I had a fish on there. I might still have a fish, actually. It's just coming up in the surf, maybe. Ah, I've got a fish on. Eventually. Ah, it's a nice little cuddling. Right. Oh, yeah, calm down. Let's show the audience. I've waited for you all night, mate. If you just hold your horses, I'll get you back in. Where are you? Right, I'll tell you what, I'll get them unclipped, I'll give you a show, and then I'll spend the time getting them off, getting them back. There you go. Nice coddling, about a pound and a half. Was it worth the wait? Of course it was. Hold on, let's see if I can get a bit of better light on for you. Uh, here we go. The light's terrible. <laughs> Is that better? There you go. We'll get him unhooked and get him back. It's about time. Waited long enough. Oh, sorry about the camera angle. I've just moved Mark. Here he is. It's coddling number two. Small one. Lip hooked, so he'll go back. Yeah. Well, at least there's a few fish here. We are moving back along the beach. Tried there, um, didn't get much joy after them two uh, small fish. So we're going to move back towards where we're parked, I suppose. Work our way back, maybe have another 45 minutes, Chuck. Um, I see how it goes. Can you see me pretty fierce or not? No? So I'll get along to the next mark and I'll just turn you back on if, uh, if I get, get into anything. The sea's beautiful, it's perfect conditions. Perfect, I can only imagine this getting better as the, uh, over the weekend, you know. Well, that's that. Thanks for tuning in. No big, but hey, it's great to catch a couple of coddling. Uh, cousin got a couple as well. So, hi, all good. Um, the footage, I don't imagine it being excellent, like it would be in the dark, but... That's part of filming in the dark, I suppose. I'm no Steven Spielberg, but uh, hopefully you got to see the, the nitty gritty. Um, so I, I'll keep trying to get out. Hopefully, I think I'm out again. 
Um, in a few days time with a with a pal from Scotland, uh, my friend who has a channel called Another Angle. So check out his channel, there's the channel below. Lovely fella, Phil. Looking forward to seeing him. And I'm sure that'll probably be the next video if I catch something or if he catches something. I'm going to do a video there for the both of us and I'm sure he'll be filming as well. So don't forget to uh, comment to be in with a chance of winning a small prize. Like I say, every time I put a video out, I'm going to send something out to somebody. It might be Sparta fishing merch. It might be a couple of lures. It might be a couple of traces. Just something, but something's better than nothing, eh? So thanks again. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment. There's my email address. If there's anything you want, need, want to talk about, I'm always there. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.